Hey guys, this is a quick video I wanted to put together showing you guys how to enable auto lock when hitting a certain miles per hour or kilometers per hour. Um, I have just enabled it for the first time. I've been watching, looking for a solution to this for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks, actually months at this stage. And I finally have figured out how to do it in my uh, 2016 Ford Kuga or Escape if you're in the United States. This seems to work perfectly for the European cars more so than the American cars. So if you're from the United States and this isn't working for you, I have heard that this works better for European uh, cars. I Unfortunately, I can't help any further than that. So um, we're just going to connect to four scan here. Everyone should know what Forescan is at this stage. If you don't know, do not know what Forescan is, I'd recommend you educate yourself on another video on how it works. Um, and for the people who do know what Forescan is, I highly recommend you guys go down to the first line in the description. There'll be a link to a detailed post on exactly how this process should be executed. I read that post probably four or five times before I made my progress on this so highly highly recommend you guys to go and read that post four or five times through follow the steps and then after that point then continue this video so i'm just going to connect to the four scan here everybody should know how to do this and we're going to hit here okay let's try that one more time manual sync 3 I am in I think this will work fine for sync 2 as well but I am sync 3 we're just going to run through all of here and I do have my OBD2 port connected as well over here it's doing its thing and in just a second Forescan is going to ask me to turn into medium speed instead of high speed here we go do you have a OBD2 port with that um, medium speed so I need to go over and tick this over to one side like that and now I can press OK and now it's going to load the rests I am not a professional whatsoever I just followed posts very very detailed and this worked out fine for me and um, there was a little bit of technical jargon that I had to follow down I had to download an archive um, and had to load into Forescan some files, and that's probably what you're going to go what you guys will have to do as well. But again, it's all in the post, so commenting at the end of this video won't solve any of your problems. I'd recommend you you definitely follow the post in the link in the description. Okay, so we've loaded up everything here. We're going to come across to to this one here, and we have two central configurations. We have a backup one. And we have a main one okay so the main one is in the BCM and then the backup is IP we want to go to this one which is the main and then this is very very important you guys need to make sure you have good battery life in your vehicle and good battery battery life on your laptop so in this case you can see here I'm quite low on battery so what I have here is a converter I'm just gonna tick that on and that just powers up my laptop so I can get a bit more power. Okay, if your car dies during this or your laptop top dies during this, you're going to have a car which will be probably dead. <laughs> so this is not kid stuff right here. You have to be super, super, super careful. Okay, here we go. We're going to load through here. Please set the HS and MS and can switch to the HS. So high speed, when you go back here. Turn it to high speed, go through. Sorry if you guys have already gone through this already. And here's your big warning page. Uh, you can pause the video right here and read this if you want. But this is pretty much saying that your battery should be oh, uh, fine on ev your laptop or your vehicle. So we're gonna press okay here. And then the car is gonna go into like an engine failure mode and things are gonna click. It's gonna be super, super scary. Um, but it is loading right now. So you can see here loading block one of six And this does take a bit of time. I'd say probably around two minutes or so and um, the very first time I done it It was around two or three minutes. It seems every time after that I've connected to this and um, it's been a lot faster So you can see here loading block 
SBL loaded successfully, reading block, and then we have to turn off the ignition. Okay, so it's saying please. You can see engine service now. It's all this scary stuff that pops up. I was terrified as well. So we're just gonna turn off the ignition here. Just turned it off. Okay, for me, I, I open the door because it seems to kind of shut things down. Yeah, things are shutting down now. And the only reason this is on is because my lights are on. So I just put that to there. Doesn't matter about the lights. Don't worry about the lights. I just like to save my battery. Okay, and now we're into all of this selection right here. So you can see all of this choices. Okay, so it's all great, but next process you need to do is go up to here and you need to go into engineering mode one, which means that you are now an engineer and you can actually toggle these. You can change what it what what these mean by using the edit, uh, edit selected mode here, okay? Again, I'm sorry guys if this is a long video. I just want to be as detailed as possible because we are toying around with the health of our cars here. Um, so we want to find automatic locking by speed, which is here. Okay, we select that. My one's already set to automatic because I just changed it like five minutes ago, but we want to go selected. And mine was on number one here without automatic locking. Your, yours might be as well. So what you want to do is click this and then press the tick button, um, just like so. If it won't let you click it, it's because you're not in engineering mode. You'll be in normal mode. So you need to be in engineering one mode in order for you to be able to select this choice, okay? Press tick. Okay, sorry, it's out of focus. And then we're going to go right, okay? We hit right, and then the car is gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna do it here, but you're gonna hit right, the car is gonna boot boot down, it's gonna boot back up again, it's gonna go into that loading block mode again, one more time, all the way through, and then the car will tell you then to turn, turn the ignition off, and then turn it back on again, and then you guys are sweet, you are ready to go. I just tested this for the first time, a second ago and it seems around 15 kilometers an hour or so when I hit that that's when it actually starts to uh, lock um, automatically so hopefully this works for you guys unfortunately I, I'm not a professional on this whatsoever so I won't be able to answer too much of your outside of what I've already explained in this video I would again highly recommend if there's any problems go to the form in the link this in the description if you guys already have four scanned then you already have an account in the form so it means that you guys can go in and comment and ask the professionals who are already there on the form and um, but this video i wanted to put together just to show you guys exactly what i just figured out myself and after weeks and weeks and weeks of figuring it out it has actually become a reality which is great so guys thank you so much for watching if this helped you at all please press the like button below and um, yeah, hopefully it all goes well for you guys.